Hi, I'm John Holden. And I'm Andrea Ocampo. Welcome to Earth. Our next story takes us here along the peaceful Mississippi and Osceola, Arkansas in Mississippi County. You know, back in the 1830s, this was an important refueling station for steamships and a shipping hub for timber and cotton, and also an important shipping hub today for our country's steel industry, especially steel that's becoming ever more responsible to our environment, as you're about to see. Mississippi County in Arkansas produces the majority of American-made steel. In fact, it's the number two steel producing county in the nation. Steel production accounts for about 8% of global greenhouse gas emissions, but steel is also the most recycled material on Earth about 650 million metric tons are recycled every year. And every ton of recycled steel prevents about one and a half tons of CO2 from being released into the atmosphere. Recycling also reduces the need for mining raw materials such as iron ore, coal, and limestone. Steel suppliers and users are very aware of the benefits of recycling to our global environment. They've formed a not-for-profit organization called Responsible Steel, headquartered in London, which supports sustainable steel sourcing, production, and recycling worldwide. Responsible Steel is a global organization that's leading the industry towards uh, a sustainable net zero future. We're in the early days, but my vision is for Responsible Steel certification to be the must-have for the steel industry across the world. Now in April 2022, U.S. Steel's Big River Steel facility here along the levee of the Mississippi River was recognized as the very first responsible steel site to be certified in North America and one of very few worldwide. Paving the way for hopefully carbon neutral steel, right? Uh, net zero steel by 2050. That was a big part of our commitment in, in pursuing site certification. So we have corporate level commitments and, and site level commitments so that we can do our part to reduce CO2 emissions world, worldwide from our operations here. It's totally different than what historical steel companies have done. We can take the scrap that you see behind me right here and we can put that in an electric arc furnace, and within two hours, you'll have a steel coil for a customer to spec that will get shipped out in a couple days to that customer. It's a quick process, it's environmentally friendly, it's sustainable. Everything across the whole business that we do right now is geared towards sustainability. Because of its environmental sustainability efforts and energy efficiency performance, U.S. Steel's Big River facility is the only lead certified steel mill in the country, recycling more than 3 million tons of scrap metal every year. Now that scrap includes mountains of pig iron that's been brought in from around the globe, and this stuff is heavy. And also, old railroad cars and locomotives that's being cut up so it can be melted. Another example of how the closed loop scrap system works you take a rail car that's been in life for 20 years, now end of life, it comes here, we clean it out, we burn it, we cut it up to pieces, we remelt it and make it into steel for customers. And potentially, this steel you see behind you will get melted into an EAF. It could potentially be made back into a rail car later in life at some point in time with one of our steel coils. So it's a complete closed loop system that we use here on site from a sustainability and environmental standpoint. With an annual production capacity of over 3 million tons, the Big River facility is already one of the largest electric arc steel mills in North America. And it's about to get much bigger and even more sustainable, thanks to construction of a new high-tech production facility that will produce specialized steel for the electric vehicle industry. 
Right now, we're currently producing about 3 million tons per year. Uh, by mid-2024, this facility will be in excess of 6 million tons per year. The non-grain-oriented facility will focus on the electric motor manufacturing. Here at Big River, through our EAF capabilities, we will be able to produce the thinnest and cleanest electrical steels in North America, maybe even in the world. At the end of the line, these coils, weighing up to 90,000 pounds and made primarily of recycled steel, are ready to be loaded onto truck, rail car, or brought back to the barges on the Mississippi River to be loaded and brought almost anywhere. A sustainable, closed-loop journey for a most responsible steel story.